Galima! Galima! Galima, Shakti de! Bali chadhao te ne aage! Nuka karo! So, uh, the Lord gave me a dream and I just felt it necessary to tell this dream. Um, it's kind of an obvious dream, but I believe it had meaning um, that uh, could help you understand the, the state that we're in as a nation and a world. Uh, I was driving in, a, <clears throat> in my uh, SUV and we were headed to church and uh, we were headed on this particular freeway uh, called 820 and it, there's construction on it. There's been construction on it since I was a little kid. So <laughs> they ain't gonna ever finish this freeway. But uh, we were riding on this freeway and I remember seeing to the left of the freeway, the left lane, it was covered with bodies and they were people's bodies just spread all the way out. They were maimed, they were, you know, uh, burned. They were just mangled, all of these things. But the strange thing about it was they were all dressed up. So they were, they had nice dresses. The women had on stockings and hoses. The men had on suits and ties. And I mean, all the way down to cufflinks and, you know, dress shirts and clergy collars and just all kinds of things. They were church people. And these church people were just mangled and just totally, I mean, just destroyed disgustingly to the point to where you couldn't even look at it. It was so grotesque. And they were all in the left lane. And so I remember yelling to my family, y'all don't look to the left. Don't look to the left. It's, it's, it's terrible to the left. You don't want to look over there. And so I remember us being in the right lane and we just kept driving. And then we saw the exit and we took the, that exit to get off the freeway so that we didn't have to see, uh, just that destruction. I didn't want my kids to see it. All my kids were with me and uh, I just didn't want my family to see that. So we exited off and then I woke up. And I asked the Lord, I said, God, you know, what in the world was this dream about? And God spoke to me and he told me that the church is on the wrong side. They're on the wrong side of things. And on this particular side that they're on, this is the, the destruction that's going to happen to them. And I remember praying and waking up and God took me to, to a uh, movie that I had seen years and years ago, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. And where they were doing this uh, ritual. And then lo and behold, someone sent me in my email this particular Antifa ritual. And uh, I'm going to show you this ritual uh, right now that, that was being done by Antifa. <laughs> So to just kind of give you a, a brief summary of what is going on here, if you remember the movie Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, uh, you remember that they were in the Temple of Kali. And uh, Kali is a Hindu goddess and she's the partner of Shiva, a Hindu god. And the Shiva represents total destruction of our world. Uh, Shiva is known as the destroyer. So that's why, you know, uh, Shiva is in front of CERN and used on CERN's logos and different things. And you see the world around them and you see all this destruction. This is the God, God of destruction, Shiva. Kali represents the emasculation of men because uh, she carries Shiva's head in one hand. This particular goddess is very evil, uh, has many arms. This is where yoga comes from, transcendental meditation. That's why, you know, as Christians, we don't do any of that but uh, she represents child sacrifice and the destruction of our world. This is just a, a demonic being. And Antifa is actually doing a ritual that you, you just saw, the exact same ritual that was done in the movie, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. 
and Antifa is not accidentally doing this. They know exactly what this ritual represents. They're calling for the destruction of our land through civil unrest, feminist emas emasculation of men, anarchy, chaos. Uh, he even called for the God of chaos during this ritual and the obliteration of God's church. This is their main goal to stop the church. But the sad part is that so many pastors and church members are on the wrong side of things. They've allowed their racism, their racial bias and indoctrination by the news and social media to cause them to forsake God's desires for their own selfish will. So we are uh, forsaking what God wants because of what we want. And this is what the church is doing. They are for the opposition, not knowing that the opposition is for the destruction of the church. They don't see that they are supporting the very thing that will end them as a church body. They don't even care that they are standing with witches, warlocks, demons, and spiritual wickedness. They're chanting Black Lives Matter, BLM, right along with these witches and demons and this witchcraft spell, uh, this Yoruba witchcraft spell that is spread all over our land. They're standing right with it. It's bringing all this destruction and it's bringing all of this chaos. And they don't even know that this spell is over America is what is bringing this over the world actually is what is bringing all of this unrest and all of this wickedness. And y'all, this is truly strong delusion. I mean, did you ever think you would be smack dab in the middle of it and it would be so strong that the church would be chanting for their very own demise and not even know it? But, you know, strong delusion, according to the Bible, comes for a reason. Matthew 13 and 30 says, let both, speaking of wheats and tares, grow together until the harvest. And in the time of harvest, I will say to the reapers, gather ye together first the tares and bind them in bundles to burn them but gather the wheat into my barn. So here God is separating the sheep from the goats, the wheat from the tares. That's what is happening right now in our world before Jesus returns. He is soon to return, of course, but before he returns, he will separate us so that it will be clear who is truly for him and who is for the world. Second Thessalonians 2 and 10 says, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. For this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie, and that all might be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. This is our, where we are right now. They're casting all of these spells through BLM, through Antifa. They're, they're conjuring up all this witchcraft. Witches are gathering. They're praying. They're planning a big prayer for even Halloween. I mean, we are right here and God is showing who is really for him. Those for the world are going to perish with the world, but those for Christ will be taken up out of this world. So whose side are you truly on? Who's standing next to you when you're chanting, when you're saying BLM and all this? Who's standing right next to you? That should tell you whose side you are on. What spirit is it that is operating in you in this hour? We have to make sure that it is the spirit of God only that's operating in us and we are not unequally yoked with witchcraft and demons and devils. Our purpose is to worship Jesus Christ only and return with him when he comes back for us. Thank you.